Sulaiman alayhi salam used to make a dua, supplication to Allah. Rabbil li, O oh Allah, forgive me. And the reason I'm repeating this is all of us need to know what were these supplications that worked with other people. They worked. Imagine you use certain words to ask Allah something and you got that thing. Although it has a lot to also do with your sincerity, with your connection with Allah and so on. But one thing, when he made the dua, he started off asking Allah what he wants by saying, Rabbi Ghfirli, Oh Allah, forgive me. From this, I learn that I need to seek the forgiveness of Allah before I ask him what I want all the time. Whenever you want Allah to give you something, first thing you do, seek forgiveness. From what? Things I know I did that were wrong. Things I don't know I did were wrong. Things perhaps I've forgotten that I did were wrong. Minor things, major things, whatever it may have been, seek forgiveness of Allah. And do not doubt the fact that He has forgiven you. Because one of the plots of shaitan is, He makes man think that you're not forgiven by Allah because what you did was massive. Whereas man forgets that what Adam alayhi salam did right at the beginning was very big. It was massive, even more massive than what you can imagine because the only thing ever that was prohibited for Adam and Eve or Hawa, may peace be on them, was to eat from the tree. And what did they do? Exactly that. You follow? And they just said a few words that were taught to them by Allah, seeking forgiveness. And Allah says, we forgave them. So, O oh man, remember one thing, do not for a moment think that the Almighty will not forgive your sin. That's from shaitan. That type of thought is from shaitan. If you sought forgiveness, you will be forgiven. So the major sins require specific forgiveness and you must learn to move on. Because sometimes shaitan comes to bog you down. Like I said earlier, he doesn't want you to believe you're forgiven. So what happens? You can't move on. You don't enjoy worship. You don't enjoy reading the Quran. You don't enjoy prayer. You don't enjoy doing the right thing because you feel you're dirty or you're not clean enough or you've done things that were so bad that you know what? Am I not even fit to be praying here? Again, that's from the devil. So don't think that. No matter what, you've got to move on. Major sins require you to seek specific forgiveness. Oh Allah, I did this, this, this. I regret it, I feel the remorse, I seek forgiveness from you and I won't do it again. And Allah says, if those conditions are met, wiped out. How good is that for Islam, a religion of forgiveness? Amazing, amazing. Every single person has committed sins from amongst us. Not one can say that I am spotless, right? Every one of us. We've done things, different levels, I agree, different levels. But don't for a moment think that you're too far from the mercy of Allah. Because anything you ever want, you're going to have to make peace with Allah. To make peace with Allah, one of the most important cornerstones is to say, Rabbi ghfirli, oh Allah, forgive me. Rabbi ghfirli, oh Allah, forgive me.